Hey there, everyone. This is probably the only bit of, of me you're going to see tonight. Um, I'm doing general readings. Um, excuse me. What this means is I'm doing a reading that um, can apply to a few people. Tonight's focus is on getting a message from your soulmate. So, you should either be single or in a relationship that you're not really sure of. Um, you know, in that sort of situation. So, the way the reading is going to go is there's going to be three piles. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm also a mother, so you may hear children in the distance. Hopefully they won't disturb us completely tonight. <laughs> anyway, there's going to be three piles, and I'm using three different decks. And each pile is going to be represented by a crystal. So what you're going to do is you're going to select a crystal that you are drawn to that like resonates with you so the crystals we have here are tiger's eye to represent power one then we have blue sapphire blue sapphire is going to represent power number two and then we have the quartz crystal wrapped in copper with a copper tree of life that also has amethyst and fluorite crystals on it. Represent power number three. Okay, so I'll be reading from three different decks, like I said, the Ancestors and Angels decks, deck, um, Oracle, and the Sacred Travelers Oracle, and then my own channeled messages from Spirit Oracle. Okay, and um, each crystal is going to get three cards. Alrighty. So I'll give you a minute, take in a deep breath, and select your crystal. Okay, so I'm going to start with pile number one. Um, and for those of you who are new to um, getting readings with me, I consider myself an intuitive guide, a vessel for messages from spirit, source, ancestors, um, all the above, all the forces that be to come through and give messages to those of you who are either missing the signs or 
that just need some confirmation in certain areas of your life. So tonight, like I said, um, it's going to be all about a message from your soulmate or a message that gives you advice or tip as to where you're where you are in um reaching your soulmate or them and reaching you or what could be the possible block um you know so before i begin i just want to say uh if you're watching the replay you can always fast forward it to um whichever crystal you selected um i'd like to start by setting an intention I set the intention that whatever is gained from the lessons learned from this tool will be dedicated to the growth of all beings in all places. Guardians of the four corners, mother in the earth, father in the sky, angels, ancestors, sacred ones, I call on you and welcome you. I mean, amen. <laughs> and so it is. So let's get started. Oops, I dropped something. So you get to see my forehead again. Okay. So if you selected pal number one, or crystal number one rather, then you selected the tiger's eye. Now, right off jump, just from selecting the tiger's eye, I'm already going to tell you that you probably already know your soulmate and you don't realize it. Like, it's someone that um, you've either known for a long time, a good friend, uh, could even be an ex or a former crush. I just know that you know this person already. Your intuition has already been telling you that this person could possibly the one but you there's something that's making you hesitate and maybe we'll get to what that is in the cards um but I'm getting the feeling not that your soulmate is ready for you but that you aren't ready for your soulmate okay you still have some inner work to do so the order of the cards goes I pull ancestor Sacred Traveler, and then my Oracle. And my Oracle's homemade. It's just channel messages. So let's mix up. medicine guardian is for you to be open to healing information oh, ooh, too close so I feel you still have some healing to do you still have some healing to do um, and it's also a possibility that your soulmate is going to be someone in the healing arts, holistic healing, uh, natural healing, maybe a vegan, someone who's going to really get you uh, back into wellness, health, uh, someone who's going to be a great motivator, um, a great healer for you, um, you for him or her. Um, yes, but right now, there's still some healing that you have to do, and um, this is why you've 
guys haven't, you know, met yet. So let me see what the book has to say. That's just message, you know, the message that I initially get from Spirit. Okay. So the message is to listen to what is coming up within you and what is being shared with you by trustworthy others in your life. Pay attention to healing information. So like I said, this person is going to be bringing you healing energy um, and information and helping you feel better and maybe helping you through the process and probably already is and you don't realize it because maybe their help is coming in a very, um, in a very, minimal way not minimal but maybe like it's not out there but you're getting something from them that's helping you go through your healing process if that makes sense um healing angels can help you heal emotionally spiritually and physically with their energy but they can also direct you towards information that will help you return to wholeness you see this person's coming to help you return they're helping you already to feel whole again to go through your healing process so yes i feel like you know this person or they've been around you or they're around you and you just don't realize that they're the one you're still healing and not just physically or like from some illness but you're healing from emotional stuff right now too um you've had you've had some uh, heartbreak in your past and um yeah, you're not so interested in jumping right into the first thing that feels like, oh, this might be it, you know. So, okay. When this card appears, information is being information is being revealed that can help heal an aspect of your current situation, whether that be your health, relationships, or even career. So be alert for this. So we just said that. Uh, no need to repeat that. The medicine guardian has a has a healing wand, which represents the capacity to heal with the power of will and desire, and a chalice, which represents returning to a state of wholeness, a state where your cup is no longer full, but overflowing with goodness. The emerald color of the card represents the healing rays of Archangel Raphael and his healing angels. Extended message. You are being exposed to information and insights that will have a dramatic healing effect upon your life. If you are working through something mentally or emotionally, know that there are spiritual energies supporting your healing. If you are working through something that is physically challenging, pay particular attention to information that's coming to you that feels inspired, insightful, and warm. Okay, I just wanted you to be able to see him a little closer for a minute. Um, that information will be supportive of your wellness. Your angels are here to remind you that your natural state is one of wholeness and you are on the road to revealing that wholeness once more. So yes, you're still in, on your road to your healing, through your healing process, but this person is going to be a great asset to that once you realize they're on your journey with you. Okay, so next card is from Sacred Traveler. Desert passage. Trust that there's a divine plan. Okay. Your soulmate is sending you a message to relax and trust. That right now you might feel like you're like in a desert. You're just dry of intimacy and any affection and any even any sign that he's on the way. But, or she know if this is a male listening or whatever your preference is um as you can see this person is on a journey and this could represent you or your soulmate 
whatever the case, you're going to go through this desert, this feeling of needing a companion. And it's okay because what it's going to do is it's going to build you in gratitude when you finally do meet each other at the great oasis that awaits. Okay? So Spirit's saying trust, be patient. There's a divine plan that's working out right now. And right now, maybe you're just not ready. Not ready for him yet. Or her. Okay? And last but not least, we have a message from my oracle. Wait till I'm, uh, I've complete my real one that's coming out, my official one. This one's real, you know what I'm saying? But I'm talking about, you know, my professional one, um, you know, that you can actually buy on Amazon. And it's not written in marker. <laughs> okay um, trust and believe I will keep you posted I'm also starting my YouTube channel um, I will be posting the link and please join my group that is you know this is the business page this kind of really is just for us to get to know each other and to let you know what's going on but my group page is where you can actually take part in a lot of my free events, a lot of my paid events, many retreats, uh, readings, and things like that. So um, you should make sure you join it at uh, facebook.com slash groups slash steam holistic arts, okay? So let's pull this message for you. So I have forest animals. The throat chakra. Oh boy, they're getting louder out there. Um, and then a message that says self-care. Love you. I can think of so many ways my body can be pampered and my mind put to ease. I'll do them today. All right, so what we're getting here is, first off, look to forest animals as spirit guides. You're, you must have an abundant amount of animals on your totem that live or dwell in or, you know, reside in the forest. And what they're letting you know is that they give you signs, maybe you see them, maybe they do things around your house, outside, um... Maybe you see them on TV, um, maybe you see sculptures of them, paintings. Um, they are here to tell you that you need to be patient, okay? They're here to tell you to enjoy the trees, enjoy the forest, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the journey, and don't be in such a rush to get out of the woods just yet. Okay, that's with that. Throat chakra. This is saying that you have, um, you may have healing work to do in this area. Where maybe in the past in relationships you either experienced a lot of dishonesty or you were dishonest a lot. Um, regardless of the case, it shuts you down um, from communicating in the way that you would naturally with someone you love. And... Um, it causes you to step out of your character, to be less than yourself when um, these sort of things happen, you know, when you're faced with, I guess, having to tell somebody how you really feel, then you get tight in that area, okay? So you need to do some clearing work on the throat chakra. And then last, this is self-explanatory, self-care, love you. Um, you know, pretty much telling you to pamper yourself today to um, do something, soak, uh, meditate, um, list the ways that you can pamper yourself, put your mind at ease, and do them. It's a self-care. It's saying right now, take care of your health and your heal and heal yourself. And soulmate is there. 
you good. Don't worry about him or her. Take care of you right now. Okay? So that's the first one. First crystal. Second crystal is blue sas sapphire. If you chose a blue sapphire, um, I can say that you're very wise. You have a lot of wisdom, uh, probably from experiences. Uh, you attract financial abundance. People look at you and they think you're wealthy or they think you have a lot of money. Whether you do or not, you know, that's not the case. But, um, hold on, excuse me one second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> Parenting duty call. Okay. So, as I was saying, blue sapphire, wisdom, financial abundance. Um, they can attract feelings of devotion. So, when you're in a relationship, you're very devoted, you're very loyal. Um, you attract people who are loyal and devoted. And whether they stay that way through the relationship or not, I can't say. I'm just saying that initially, when they get to you, when you're attracting each other, you both are in that place of, um, you know, I'm going to devote myself to this relationship. You're not really known to run around town and have 50 relationships going on at one time, and neither is the your soulmate. Okay. Um, these also promote blue sapphire promotes mental clarity. So you're very logical. You think things things out rather than um, following your heart a lot, and that has caused you a lot of grief in the past that you don't really acknowledge because you tend to come from the head rather than the heart, and um, that can also be a little bit of a block in um, reaching your let me move him out the way reaching your soulmate or them reaching you um also blue sapphire is good for clearing depression so either you're coming out of one or you were in one or your last relationship caused you to go into one but there is some um feeling of having been depressed at some point i'm picking up from people who picked uh, blue sapphire. Okay, so your first card. Okay. So, you have Direction Guardian. Choose your path. Okay. Now, the first thing I picked up from this card is that people that chose Crystal number two, Blue Sapphire, you have a few options um, on your plate right now. And that's what's blocking you from your soulmate. You're not focusing on what it is you want. You're being too general. Um, and so you're getting offers from any and everybody. And many of them are not fitting what you want. Though they tend to for the time being. In the mean, They're like you're in the meantime. Okay. They can bend to be what you want them to be. But they're not able to maintain that shape for long. And then you're looking again what this card is saying is that you'll recognize your soulmate when you recognize what it is you exactly want and then that person will just like materialize upon your, your path once you choose your path and they will be all of the things that all those many different people were trying to represent for you you'll find in one person okay I love his card, his, this guardian, he's 
he or she's just a beautiful radiant energy I love the lion you got like strength up there the eagle that's like you know res- dominating and respect and um, you know you have the loyal ox and it's just I just love the energy and then you have the spiritual energy right there in the center okay okay so moving on next card I was going to read you from the book but spirit's telling me what I picked up is what it is is what the message is supposed to be that's gotten from that card today if I read the book they're saying that the the explanation in there will not resonate with anyone right now okay so now from the sacred traveler deck pathways a lot of journeys you guys are on right now everybody's on like a a spiritual awakening or some kind of journey or going through barren land where you're feeling um lonely and maybe um a little bit losing faith tread thoughtfully narrow pathway okay so this is saying don't jump at the first thing that looks good for one be careful You know what I'm saying? Think things through. It's okay to be logical sometimes, you know, but, you know, you need to balance heart and logic at some point. I'm just saying tread thoughtfully. Don't do anything hastily. Don't get yourself into any commitments that you're going to regret when uh, your direction guardian comes along, you know. Make sure you are clear on the path. That you want to step on. See how you got. Choose your path. And then you get narrow pathway. So you are really on a journey. On an awakening. Where you really have to put more thought. Into your uh, process. In moving towards your, your soulmate. If that's what you really want. Spirit is saying. The signals you send out. May sometimes not come off. As you're ready. You need to really figure out. What it is you want put that energy out into the universe and you will receive it okay message from my oracle (laughs) if you get a card that has red lettering it's a message from ancestor rather than a spirit guide um, sometimes a card will come up telling you exactly who it is, like archangel, or deity, um, things like that. Um, and if you get a card that's outlined in yellow, that's considered a golden ticket. That means that message is very, very, very important for you to understand. And that I can tell you what it, I can interpret it for you, but only you will be able to fully translate what it means for you in your life and your situation if that makes sense okay all right here we go and right off the bat you get a golden ticket herbs and crystals are magical for you all right so that's pretty blunt um get some herbs get some crystals they will work wonders for you in opening up your heart chakra so that you'll be ready to receive so that you can find clarity um, really try to get some amethyst. Um, blue sapphire is very good, you know, for um, bestowing wisdom upon you, yourself, opening, strengthening your intuition, bringing you some mental clarity. So maybe you should get yourself some blue sapphire because um, right now it's telling you herbs and crystals are magical for you. So that message pretty much is saying um, they can help you in your healing process or whatever block you have in really um really settling on what it is you're looking for you know yeah your ancestors support you always at this time i know and feel and this is something you can affirm at this time i know and feel i'm being guided whatever i want to do 
whatever my dreams, my guides have my back. Your ancestors support you always. So you have an ancestor that's working to help bring you and your soulmate together um, for whatever reason. I don't know if they uh, know that person from another lifetime, but they feel that they it's important that they assist you a little bit. So listen for their messages and their guidance and know that you're being guided. Don't doubt things. If it feels good, then it is good, okay? And whatever it is you want, whatever type of lover, whoever you feel is the one for you, you can have it. That's what they're saying. So just put it out there in the universe exactly what it is <laughs> or who it is. Um... You don't have to do looks, down to looks, but, you know, have an idea of what it is that can make you happy in a person. Um, and the universe will respond and you will receive. Last one. Time to add a physical wellness ritual. Maybe you meet this person in the gym or uh, in a virtual class or something like that. Or maybe your physical um, appearance is not pleasing you right now and that's another reason why you're blocking the energy of this soulmate coming on you feel like you need to get back in shape but you can affirm with me when i move with spirit everything is nothing at all i will find a physical activity to do every week or day so pretty much spirit is telling you don't worry about your weight don't worry about your size don't worry about your physique um everything is nothing at all you know, making big deals out of things that are small. But at the same time, you can still find something you can do physically every day or every week. Just so that you can stay well, you know. And that is it for Blue Sapphire deck. Or crystal, rather crystal number two. Now the last one is number three. Quartz crystal copper amethyst fluorite okay and the tree of life so if you chose um number three you chose this crystal you are right now um when it comes to your soulmate maybe still um in dreamland maybe you still think about an ex uh, or the past, you're holding on to the past a lot, and you really need some clarity. Um, yes, you need some clarity, and you need to feel supported and protected. Something in you feels like being vulnerable is scary right now, and you're not ready to be vulnerable and really let down your guard with anyone. But at the same time, you know, you have the tree of life really do want to grow with someone you really do want to have a family and um and put down roots and be with this person for good however you are still looking back and um, I can tell for you right now that that is one of the blocks that you will have to shed in order to be ready for your soulmate is you have to find a way to, if you are going to look back, look back in a good way. Look back at the lessons, smile at the good memories and good times. But if you're looking back and you're remembering pain and hurt and confusion and depression, then you're attracting more of the same type of energy to you and those type of relationships are going to keep coming. Okay. So find a program or something that can shift your energy um, get you focusing on feeling good, that's most important, something that's fun, something that's not going to stress you out, um, that you don't have to put a lot of mental thought to, but actually helps you distill your mind, and really, um, let go of the baggage, all right, Ooh. okay, wow, a lot of guardians showing up a lot of angelic energy so we have wait before I, I sit her on her pedestal we have the magic guardian okay and she says to unlock the magic within 
So what I'm getting from you is, or could be from this other person, their self-esteem issues, okay? Um, there's feelings of not being enough, not being worthy, not being good enough to keep someone. Um, and so your vibration is of that vibe and you push people away without realizing it because you expect them to go away or you expect them to betray you and this could be either you or your soulmate you are like so amazing and magical and powerful and anybody would be lucky to be with you and a lot of people see that you don't see it a lot of people see it and they see that you don't see it I don't know if that makes sense but yeah they can see your light and they realize that you shy away that you dim it um now they're starting to see you coming out they're starting to see a shift I don't know if you're in a program or you're doing something different in your life right now or you have a mentor or a new circle of friends, a soul tribe coming in, but these things or people are awakening this person or yourself to the magic that you hold within, to your power, the power that you have to control what, who and what can be in your life and what happens to you and how you react. have the magic garden sacred traveler Did not say a lot of angel energy showing up tonight. Protected by angels. You are cherished by the angels. Okay? And what this is telling me is that you don't have to worry anymore. You don't have to worry about being hurt again. You don't have to worry about, you know, being alone again. Once you open up your heart and let your soulmate in and release the past, you won't have you won't have to feel insecure or unsafe or unprotected. They're letting you know you will be protected in this union and you are protected right now that everything you went through was just so that you could learn and be prepared to have a better experience eventually and that experience is on the horizon the angels are here to let you know unlock that magic within um recognize your power to control who comes in your life and who stays in your life most important okay and your last three messages whoa well we have two jump out i'm sorry made me shake things up a bit Oh, that's three. Great. All right, well, I'm going to select one, and then I'll just read the three that jumped out. Oh, message from your ancestors, is that? Oh, no, this isn't. This is a, just a sacral chakra, chakra message. Um, don't stop. Keep going. Okay? Um, I'm picking up a creative energy from you. Uh, you might work in the arts. You might be in sales uh, maybe fashion maybe um, things like that um, I just feel an artsy energy from you 
a creative mind, an innovator, someone who's trying to always think of the next thing to do, something great. Don't stop, keep going. It's a possibility this has something to do with meeting the one, your soulmate. Don't stop, keep going. Keep working on yourself. Keep unlocking your heart and opening up to the magic and releasing the baggage. And, um, yeah, whatever it is you're doing that's already bringing out the light in you, that's starting to unlock that magic within, keep doing it. And then the cards that jumped out. <laughs> what? I released the past. I'm on point tonight. You know what I'm saying? What can I say? Okay? I release the past. Repeat after me. The past holds the lessons I grow from. My past will no longer predict my future. Okay? And I don't need to say anything else about this. This is right on point. This is exactly what I've been telling you that Spirit's been saying. The past holds the lessons. Grow from them. You no longer have to predict the future with them. What happened, happened. It doesn't mean it's going to happen again. I released the past. Okay? And then you will see your soulmate appear. Oh my God, this is more than three. Oh no, it isn't. Okay. Wow. You are so strong. Others see this in you. Didn't I say other people see your magic and they see that you don't see it? They see that you don't see it? Confirmation? Confirmation? Okay. And the last card, if you feel it, it will be. So you people pick card number three. Y'all, they, they come in and talk to you tonight. You must already be working on yourself. You must be in a program. You must be doing something on a weekly basis or bi-weekly that they feel like you're a master that's already ready for the next next level because they're talking to you right now. Listen up. If you feel it, it will be. I feel pure joy and excitement when I think of what's ahead for me on my life's journey. And that's how they want you to feel. I feel pure joy and excitement when I think of what's ahead for me on my life's journey. Feel joy. Feel excited. Enjoy the journey. Okay? And that goes for everybody. If you feel it, it will be. Feel it in your heart. The one. Feel how you would feel once you are with your soulmate. Feel that energy. Feel that love. Okay? And once you are able to feel it, then it can be. Okay, feel it here in your heart chakra. Send that energy out. Call on that loving energy, the one. Okay. Good luck, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. I hope this resonated with someone. Um, peace and blessings and all that good stuff.